Okay, konnichiwa, everybody. Welcome to today's uh, EVA match briefing uh, with the England team ahead of uh, the Rugby World Cup final tomorrow. It's my pleasure to welcome uh, Sam Underhill, uh, George Cruz, and assistant coach Neil Hatley. Again, uh, please, we have microphones for questions and for the translation. So please put your hand up uh, and then we'll get the questions underway. Uh, so first question, please. The front. Uh, Neil, could you give us your verdict on the South African scrum and the fact that they are able to bring on an entire front five whenever they want? Um, yeah, look, they're a good scrum. They're, you know, it's been their, their sort of protocol that they've gone a 6-2 bench for, for most of the tournament, particularly in the final stages now. So, you know, we had good contests with them again in two, uh, 2018 when we toured there and the three-match series there. So, yeah, it's, it's a good pack that's well drilled. So, looking forward to a good contest tomorrow. Mick? Yeah, sorry, can I do the box standard question? Everybody fit and available and come through this morning's run out? Um, yep, yeah, we've just finished training now, obviously. So, uh, yeah, all 31 available for selection. So, we're in a good place. Yep. Yeah, the front. Uh, Neil, you're one of a number of guys who have links with South Africa, who's coached there before, lived there before, born there even. Um, what insight do you think that would bring to you guys, but particularly in terms of the South African mindset with their physicality and trying to bash you guys? Um, just, just so we could, I was actually born in England, but lived in South Africa. So I, that, people keep putting that I was actually born in England. So, um, But yeah, look, I, we know some of the coaches. I, I played against Matt Proudfoot, um, played against Russi. So I think their, their mindset, you've seen how they've won games over the last few weeks. Um, and it works for them, you know, they're, they're very good at it. Uh, so uh, Mitch has, you know, John Mitchell's coached quite a few of the players that are Oji Snayman, Andre Polo, people like that. So yeah, it's handy having obviously his input as well, um, but it's a, a pretty clear blueprint that they've been using. Yeah, the front. George, how are they as a line-out team and have you joined Steve Borthwick in learning Afrikaans? Um, I haven't yet, actually. Um, look, they've, they've got a good line out. Uh, they've got a good set piece, as, as Hats was saying. Um, and it's going to be a good test for us. They've, um, they've got a, a very large pack. Um, but like Hats said, it's, you know, it's, a, it's a strategy they've been using for the last kind of six, or six months or so. So we've got a good idea of what they're about. Uh, obviously, we're, we're open to, to anything new that they'll, they'll bring. But um, yeah, we're, we're, we've done our analysis, and we're, we'll be quite confident. Different. Sam, can you give us your uh, view of the back row, the South African back row, which is huge? Uh, yeah, they're a, they're a pretty big side um, across the board in the pack. Um, but yeah, they've also got some good ball carriers. Um, they're a big threat at the breakdown. You know, they've got guys that will get over the ball. They're, they're obviously against Wales. They counter rucked pretty well. Um, so physically, I think it's important we turn up and, uh, and, and take that part of the game away from them. The front. Sam, can you just talk a bit about the influence of Richard Hill on your career? Obviously, he's a team manager here, but has uh, scouted you back in the day in, in Wales and what he said to you in a week like this that he's experienced before. Uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't spoken to him too much about this week uh, specifically, but he's been a good influence uh, for myself and for, for a few of the lads. I know, I know he's worked with Tom Curry as well. Um, but he's just been a good good influence to have. He's, he's never short of, uh, short of advice. Um, and yeah, he's been, he's been, he's been very helpful uh, up to this point. Do you remember the first time you would have met him? Uh, yeah, it was, uh, no, I don't remember the first time I met him, but I remember him coming over to Wales a couple of times. Um, so yeah, we were in, he was sort of the, the contact I had back on the other side of the bridge when I was over there. So yeah. Okay, Owen. Uh, George, uh, Owen Farrell's quite guarded in his uh, public statements and the way he conducts himself in, uh, with the media. Could you describe him as a personality, please, and how he is as a captain to you as a team? Um, good one. Look, he's, I've known him for a long time now. Um, played with him at club level and, and obviously here. Um, he's probably the ultimate professional. Um, he's... He's very rounded. He's, he's, um, he works incredibly hard on, on improving himself as well. Um, you know, I think you, you look to 
you know, five, six, seven years ago. He, he, he's improved himself as a character. Uh, he's, he's a lot, a lot more rounded, and and, um, and you can deal with deal with a lot, a lot. Um, look, at that. I've got nothing but credit for him, um, and and he's a, he's a great captain. Tom. Uh, Sam, the uh, Springboks have been talking about wanting to play sort of an arm wrestle type of rugby. Eddie's been talking about how you're going to try and avoid that at certain stages. How do you avoid the game turning into an arm wrestle of an affair? Um, it's a good question. I think um, it depends what you want out of the game. I think for us it's important in in our attack. I suppose, I suppose speed of ball is one thing you want. It's one thing the opposition don't want. So for any attack to, to function well, uh, you need good speed of ball. Um, and yeah, in defence, there's not much you can do about what what they uh, what they sort of bring at you apart from turn up physically. So um, I think that's probably going to be a theme going into tomorrow. Um, a lot of a lot of what's underpinning you know a lot of aspects of the game is physicality. So um, we get that right, and hopefully we'll be able to dictate to the game. Okay, question at the back. Sam, to complete this answer, uh, with your physical style, is it the kind of game you, you can appreciate and how you can appreciate it? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's always uh, good to have a physical challenge. I think that's probably true of most games. I think most teams now are, are pretty physical. I don't think there's a, there's a non-physical test match that's played now. So um, I think on top of that, the, the thing to bring is, is accuracy and, and control. So it's all very well and good. Um, turning up and being aggressive, but the key is to sort of be in control of in control of that and still be able to um, do what you want in the game outside of just uh, just just being physical. Question at the front. Um, Sam, so um, what's the difference between the match you played um, with the All Blacks and then with the box? What what kind of strategy is it going to be? Different, and then also, um, is the winning with uh, All Blacks has uh, mentally um, been um, uh, better for the team? Um, it's a, sorry, the, the second bit of your question in terms of in terms of how last weekend has sort of affected us. I think it's probably given us um, more confidence as a group. I think every performance we've had up to this point has probably given us more confidence um, and and sort of brought us closer together as a team. Um, in terms of the challenge posed, I think that they're a different side to, to the All Blacks. They're um, probably a bit more direct. They'll probably be a bigger uh, set piece focus, you know, for them. I think their their malls are a good part of their game. The scrum as well, something they sort of pride themselves on. So, um, again, not to reiterate the the phrase, but physicality is going to be a big part of it, um, and 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 on our accuracy in what we do. ジョージ選手に大丈夫なのかみんな。Thank you、えー。前回大会予選プール敗退という非常に悔しい。No, not working for me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you、えー。前回大会予選プール敗退ということで非常に悔しい思いをされたと思いますが、明日勝って優勝すればすべてその悔しさは払拭できるでしょうか。Um, I think you learn a lot from from the last World Cup. Um, a lot of good teams or teams that have have, have done things have、uh, definitely lost or gone through learning phases in, previously.、Um, although it doesn't give us any right for for tomorrow,、we've, you know we've got to turn up and and do the job. But it definitely、um, it will it will, it will help kind of give us the experience maybe.、Um, You know that, that a lot went through the the, you know, the, the pain of, of losing and, and and learning off the back of it. So,、uh, like I said, it, do, it doesn't mean that you know we're owed anything, but、um, but it will you know hopefully go go a bit towards making making a difference tomorrow. Mitch at the back.、Uh, hi Sam. Are you going to have to be quite selective in in and how you attack rocks? Having watched that Wales game, if you go smashing into every rock and there's going to be a lot of them, are you going to have to kind of make a decision each time that this is one we need to challenge and another one is one where we just need to get set maybe to receive a high kick?、Uh, yeah, I, th I think decision making is probably the most important thing around the breakdown. Anyway, I think that's probably the majority of the work we do as a back row around the breakdown is all is all decision making. So.、Um, Picking your moments and, and、um, 
yeah, being smart, you can't go after everything. Um, so yeah, that's a big, it's a big sort of focus for us as, as a bat row, especially, and as a team, is 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 picking and choosing the moments of, of when we when we go for it. So yeah. Okay. Yes, in the middle. Sam, can I ask about how the the, the group have dealt with the, the extra noise and pressure of a game this week, and and how ready you feel after that? You know, your final session today. Uh, probably just spent more time with each other. To be honest, probably just sort of become a closer as a group. If anything, you kind of try and um, ignore anything outside the immediate. You know, the, the 32 we've got, and the coach and staff, and and the support staff we've got. So. Um, it's been pretty easy, to be honest, because it's a good group of people to spend time with. Um, and I think, you know, we've given each other a lot of confidence um, up to this point, and it's a, it's a good group to be around. Sort of quite a quite a calm and controlled sort of environment, um, which is what we sort of get out of our training, and and, and yeah, puts you in a pretty good place mentally going into the game. Yeah. Hugh. Hi, George. Um, last week, Eddie named the finishing side first. Uh, did you do that again this week? And in any case, has, that, has he changed your way of thinking about that situation? Um, did he? <laughs> <laughs> um, there, there is a massive emphasis on, um, on, on the finishing side. And, and I think from uh, different experiences, I, I, fully, I fully believe it. I fully buy into it. It's not... Um, you know, it's, it's not um, starting and benching. I, I see it as, a, you know, everyone's got a role within that 23, just like everyone does in the 31. Um, if you look at the players they can bring on, you know, the, the, their points at the end of the game, you know, they, they start well and they finish quite well traditionally, looking at uh, statistically the points and when they score them. So have we got a role as finishers? A, a massive role. Um, and there's, uh, yeah, we're, we're very confident on our, in our bench, uh, in our finishes, and, and looking forward to it, really. Um, but like I said, they've got a really, a really good pack. Um, they've got a 6-2 split on the bench, so, you know, we, we know what's coming, um, and it's, it's about kind of manning up and, and dealing with it. Chris? Uh, George, accepting this is the biggest final, for those of you who have a lot of experience in this squad of finals. Is there a finals mentality you bring into these last couple of days? And can you help those guys who haven't been in those situations for big games? Uh, I, I think there is. Um, there's, there's definitely a, an, an understanding of, um, of nerves and, and, and kind of uh, how you deal with them maybe a bit more. Um, I remember my, my first final, you know, it, it's, you, you, you definitely overthink a lot of stuff. Um, you, you know, you're you're trying to get everything perfect, and you know, there's a, I guess there's an understanding that um, maybe once you've played a few, that you know, you just get your processes right, and, and you don't have to overthink things. It's it, obviously it, it is a, a massive, massive game, but for us, we've got to almost see it as a, as another game, um, and um, and then yeah, just making sure that you know mentally it doesn't get to you, which is probably a a learned thing, but also um, I would say we've done a lot of work to to try to build up these momentum, these um, these moments. Um, you know, we've we've dissected and looked across our previous games where you know there has there had been some issues. Um, you know, look at the Wales game back in in Six Nations. I think we've come through that and worked on that unbelievably hard. And um, and to to see it as as a um, as like something that we've we've targeted and then seen the progression. You know, in each game, you see that it's, it's been brilliant for us and something that we've, like I say, we've targeted and, and really put some, some more work into. Yeah, Chris, at the front. Sam, have uh, many of the guys got relatives, family out here with you and supporting you? And just how special will it be to go into this massive occasion with a lot of people there? Uh, yeah, I think most people, most, most of the lads have got family or friends or, or partners uh, out here now. Um, Obviously, it's uh, it's good. It's been sort of like a good distraction, I suppose. Um, nice to get some balance with 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 being away for so long. Um, yeah, mate, it's awesome. It's it's kind of why I think most people, you know, started playing would have been they've been taken down to the local rugby club by you know, parents or friends or whoever it is, and been playing with mates. And um, it's kind of why we all started started playing. Um, so it's nice, and it's it sort of you feel. 
a sense of it being um, obviously we're focused on on ourselves, but you get a bit of a sense of uh, the bigger picture of what it's all about, what it means to you, your sort of friends, your family, and your loved ones, which is which is always nice. Question at the back. Sam, this England team's the, the youngest World Cup final team in the professional era. Do you think that youthfulness helps you in a way in that you know that you've got, got time? Time for what? Well, time if it, doesn't, if it doesn't happen on Saturday. Is there a calmness about the team, do you think, because people <laughs> feel like they've got a, an extra opportunity? Um, I don't think that's it. Like in, in, I don't think we're thinking, oh, we'll just go again in another four years if it doesn't go right. Um, but I think, I think there's definitely a, something that's... Um, I think it's definitely in a positive, having having uh, younger players in the side. I think there's a lot of sort of energy and enthusiasm um, to be had from that. I think that's been good. Um, I think it's been good for the, for the squad dynamic as well. Um, you know, you, you sort of mix in experience with, with, uh, with guys that are sort of keen to learn, which has been good. Um, so yeah, I think, I think, I think by and large it's been, a, it's been a good thing. But I don't think it's something that you really notice. I mean, you, you look at the younger players in the squad and they probably don't seem all that young. You know, you look at guys like Tom Curry, he's probably the youngest in the squad. He doesn't seem like a young player, doesn't seem like a junior player, um, which again, sort of fills you with, with quite a lot of confidence. A question at the front. え、サムさんにお願いします。あの、監督のエディ・ジョーンズさんがえ、ある意味、え、最もこの決勝も含めた経験ある人だと思うんですが、え、エディさんの、え、経験によって、こう、チームがこう、与えられているもの、え、ま